My name is Alice Bhattacharya and today I am going to read a Russian folk tale called The Horn That Could Hear. Once upon a time there was a poor man named Valdemir. He lived in a village. His father was very ill. One day, Valdemir's father said to him, My son, I am not getting any better. And therefore, I think it's time to give you something which will help you in the future. The father took out a horn, gave it to, the, to Valdemir and said, This is no ordinary horn, son. If you put it against your ear, you will be able to hear the thoughts of the people around you. After his, after his father died, Valdemir decided to travel and look for a job somewhere. After many days, he came to a stone castle on the road. Valdemir went inside and met uh, the owner of the castle, a long-haired giant. With, with quivering voice, Valdemir said, Greetings, sir. My name is Valdemir and I am traveling from place to place looking for some work. Work. I would be very grateful if you could employ me as your cook. The giant agreed to, to the proposal. As Valdemir went towards the kitchen and away from the giant, he took out his horn to hear the giant's thoughts. He heard the giant thinking, let's see if the man proves to be a good cook. Otherwise, I'll just eat him up. And how can this big, but how can this big man fit into this, this I mean, he is bigger than him. How can they, how can he even fit? Even if he's eaten, he can break out by pulling his body parts. <laughs> like just like cartoons. Ah, now nah, that's funny. The giant agreed to the proposal. As Valdemir went towards the kitchen and away from the giant, he took out his arms to hear the giant's thoughts. He heard the giant thinking, Let's see if this man proves to be a good cook, otherwise I'll just eat him up. Valdemir froze. He realized that he was trapped in the castle and would have to prove that to be a good to be a good cook till he could plan his escape. He cooked the best dish for the giant. The giant was really impressed with the food and allowed Valdemir to stay. Valdemir continued cooking. The giant kneels while looking for an escape passage in the huge castle. One day, when Valdemir went to the basement, which was dark and gloomy, he heard someone crying. He spotted a beautiful girl tied to a pillar crying. He asked her, Who are you and why are you here? The girl replied, And the princess of this kingdom and this Castle belongs to me. The giant killed my father, the king, and took over the castle and the kingdom and made me a prisoner. Valdemir was shocked and, shocked and said, Don't worry, I will rescue you. The princess asked, How will you rescue me? You will never be able to escape this castle unless the giant dies. And he is very strong. Valdemir realized 
that the princess was right, but he refused to give up. Now that's what a king should do. Right? And a princess and a prince is and a princess refused to and the princess refused to save everyone on there over there. Come on, that's so crazy. Shortly afterwards, Valdemir went to the room where the giant was sitting and took out his horn. He heard the giant's thought. Where is the cook? I hope he... He never finds out about the princess. Even if he does, I will not be I'll not be able to escape before I die. Who will ever know tell him that the secret of my strength is my long hair? One man was very happy to know the giant secret. He decided to cut the giant's hair when he sleeps at night. So that night when the giant was asleep, Valdemir entered his room with a pair of scissors and slowly and steadily cut off the giant's hair. When the giant woke up next morning, fe feeling very weak, he realized that someone had cut his hair. Now, anybody could defeat the giant or even kill him. He ran away from the castle as fast as his legs could carry him. Last page. Valdemir well, freed the princess. They fell in love and soon married each other. Became a, the king of of the kingdom and lived with his queen happily ever after. I hope. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video.